Hi business creators, it's Claire from Claire Wright. Now, how does a stress-free end of financial year sound? Good? Well, in this video, we're gonna dig into how you can work towards achieving that and how it may benefit you and your business. So winter and the start of June in Australia can only mean one thing, end of financial year and I have already started seeing the sales advertisements it is coming and it is inevitable so I understand it's tempting to put it off to put off doing your book work until the last minute but what if doing it sooner helped your business to grow or to be more profitable or maybe both what if you're entitled to a tax refund because effectively, in that situation, the ATO is holding on to money that belongs to you until you can be bothered to do your paperwork. So, how can we prepare between now and the end of June to have a stress-free end of financial year? So, the first thing you can do if you aren't up to date is to get up to date and your future self will thank you for pretty much any work that you do now even if you don't manage to get your book work finished because the cycle of being out of date and catching up at tax deadline is perpetual next financial year while you're busy doing this financial year you're missing out on doing next financial year and around and around it goes now this is especially true if you leave it until the last minute and it creates a lot of stress because your natural response then is to avoid the book work because you associate it with the stress so we need to kind of start now if we really do want to break that cycle and let's just have a look at the numbers if you started now and you dedicated say an hour a week to doing your book work between now the start of june and the self-assessment deadline at the end of october you would have worked 22 hours an hour a week really does add up and i think that 22 hours would probably be enough for most sole traders to be sorted without the stress and without losing a weekend in october the second way you can help prepare for a stress-free end of financial year is to check your estimated tax because with the year almost over you can actually now make a pretty good prediction on what your estimated tax return will be and this is useful even if you aren't expecting a refund because I'm hoping that over the course of the year you've been saving up for your income tax bill and if you haven't done that I'll link to another video where we go through how you can do that now with this we estimated we had to estimate this because we didn't know what was going to happen in the year but now we actually have reliable figures based on most of our actual rather than being on forecast what we can do is we can check we've saved the right amount or more or less the right amount because if you haven't saved quite the right amount and things have gone better than expected you can increase your savings between now and the end of october and that was going to give you five months to cover in the difference rather than leaving it until the end of october and having to panic about finding the funds for your tax bill also if you have saved more than you need maybe things haven't gone quite as you planned you probably put that money to other uses potentially and you can do that now again rather than in october finally if you are entitled to a refund on your income taxes especially if it's a significant one you can work to be ready to submit as soon as the tax window opens and receive that refund as soon as possible rather than leaving it until October or May like the ATO is just holding on to your money you may as well have it just for doing your paperwork finally the third thing you can do before the end of financial year is a look at if you could utilize any extra funds you have in your business now I'm not a huge fan of the end of financial year sales hype because remember you only benefit to your tax rate 
So if your average tax rate is 20% uh, payable, then you only receive 20 cents in every dollar as a tax benefit. And if you're under the tax threshold of 18,200, there actually is no tax benefit. So you just need to be careful of not buying into, literally, the hype of the sales. But it is worth reviewing if you have any extra funds, especially if you could use those funds to create opportunities or make investments. So for example, maybe adding an extra few hundred dollars into Facebook ads for an upcoming event would create more sales opportunities for you. Maybe adding some extra to your superannuation could be a good way of investing those funds. Now, I will just say superannuation for sole traders isn't deductible in your business. Instead, it is a personal deduction. And if you are looking for tax benefits, um, your tax rate would need to be greater than 15%. A superannuation is taxed, taxed separately from your business income. Now, the benefit that comes from taking these actions of getting up to date, looking at your taxes, looking at what funds you have, is that you won't worry that you're missing out. Yes, you're probably going to end up, hopefully, with a stress-free end of financial year, but you'll also not be wondering, maybe I should take up some of those sales offers. You'll not be worrying about how much tax you're going to need to pay when you get the tax bill, and you're not going to be setting up next financial year on the back foot because you still need to catch up on 2020, 2021. Now, finally, and probably one of the biggest benefits is that you'll be able to review your business while it's still relevant. How much profit, how much income, how much expenses have you generated over the last 12 months? What actions could you take to make your business more profitable, to grow your business, to work less, whatever your goal is? Are there any expenses that you want to review? Maybe you'd have a subscription and you could cancel it earlier rather than waiting until May next year when another 11 months have gone. Doing this review and having a really good look at what's happening in your business performance wise finance wise in a timely manner is way way more helpful than getting a profit number from your tax accountant in 11 months time and wondering what exactly you're supposed to do with that information now if you do need any help achieving a stress-free end of financial year please get in touch for a free chat about specifically why one month vip package so over the course of four weeks we get your bookkeeping into tip-top shape we estimate those taxes and we look at how you may be able to utilize any funds you have now don't think this is just for up to the end of june this really will help you anytime up to getting your tax return done and I promise that we'll do it the easy and the fun way with no stress and certainly no judgment. If this video has been useful, I would love you to give it a thumbs up or comment and let me know how you're going to prepare for your end of financial year. And you can also let me know uh, what else you might be doing to prepare. If you do need more help, as I said, get in touch. And you can always subscribe to receive more content like this on making business finance quicker, easier and actually work for your business.